Hey everyone, it's Marilyn. Welcome back to KK's Quilt Studio. Hey, I've loved hearing from all of you and someone recently had a question about design on path and that's what we're going to work on today. Be it from a uh, design that you created yourself from some simple artwork or a design that you, maybe you purchased somewhere else and want to design on a path. What is that? Well, we're going to talk about that today. And as always, you know that you can contact me. have had some great questions. People sent me email and contact me through all the different ways. You can drop me an email at kksos at kks quiltstudio.com. Love to hear from you. Great listening to all your comments. And you can always join, if you haven't already, our Facebook group called Pro Stitcher Designer Diner. Just go to Facebook, do a search for the Designer Diner, and answer a couple questions, and we'll get you right in. If you don't Facebook, not to worry. We have groups.io. It's a message board where you can um, share with other people your creations and talk to people and talk to me. I'll answer questions. And once you get to groups.io, type that into your web browser, <clears throat> then do a search for the digital quilting bee. That's all one word. Um, I've spaced it out here so that you can see it or go to my website, kksquiltstudio.com. Learn more about um, some of the programs you use for quilting and different software if you want to get more in-depth study. Um, I have paid classes that can be accessed on my website 24-7. So let's move on over into Pro Stitcher Designer and get designing on a path. So I like to keep these videos pretty short so you can get the basic technique and then have fun playing with it. And what I have created here is a um, couple simple artwork shapes. We'll go to tools and down, I, if I click on that drop down menu, I've opened a leaf and an ellipse, drawn a couple simple shapes. I have split the bottom of this leaf design. You just right click and go down the drop down menu to split line. You'll see that I pulled those two points across and I did that so that I can connect these up more easily and then we are going to select both designs and you'll see when I do that all these tools light up across here and your repeat on path tool lines up. If I click off of that again you'll see they gray out so we're going, going to select those again. You can also access the repeat on path by right clicking and go up to utility and drop down to repeat on path. So a couple different ways of accessing the same function. Select those again. We're going to click repeat on path. This little dialog box comes up. Play with the numbers. I'm going to leave the default today, but change the numbers on here. See what you get. See what the different, um, different uh, reflections of the design you get. You can also click on one or two of these boxes and see um, how that changes the design. We're going to leave it at the defaults and click OK. There is our design. I'm going to at this point right click and I'm going to combine. So that's why I left all those little pieces um, or that little leaf the why I separated those two nodes because it makes it easily um, connectable and hardly identifiable. And then we're going to go to preview, assign stitches. We're going to do a stitch out and I'll just drag the bar along here and you'll see it's kind of like a spirograph and it just quickly stitches out that design. Now it's a little bit dense, but hey, you can change, like I said, change those settings on the default. Um, see what kind of creative design you came up with. I thought this one was kind of a cool design. You can change that path, that circle that I used to design the path on and come up with something totally different. You can make it smaller, make it a perfect circle. Just play with it and see what you get. Okay, let's go to home and let's open a 
new design file, I'm going to go to my continuous line. Um, these are your um, designs that came with your Pro Stitcher. And I am going to select Audrey. Click open. So that gives us a new design page. I'm going to go to view, shut off my grid just to make it a little bit easier to see. And we're going to back out on this design. Use your wheel on your mouse or you can just hit minus on the keyboard. Okay, I'm going to go back to tools and do another ellipse. Okay, this you do need to go back because this file is a stitch file. You see over here it is run. In order to do this you must have two pieces of artwork. So let's go back to preview and click your artwork. So we're going to convert convert that design back to artwork. Okay, and then we're going to select both. You can drag a box around it or select one control key, select the other. We've got both designs saved. You can go back to tools at this point and repeat on path or you can right click and there you have a design. You'll notice that you can leave in the circle if you wish or you can delete that out. If you go over here to your sequence view, you see that that circle is a second piece of artwork. So you can just hit the delete key on your keyboard. I'm going to select that circular and go to preview, assign stitches. And again, you're ready to save the file and stitch it out. So I hope you've enjoyed learning how to design on a path. And don't forget, contact me so I can uh, keep these videos coming. I hope I've answered all your questions today. Until we meet again, happy quilting!